Hey guys, this is Roger from RogerLikes.com. I'm going to step outside my comfort zone today and uh, talk to you about Amazon Light Sale. Amazon Light Sale is a cloud based web hosting solution. You'll get a really fast web server for five to eight bucks a month, and uh, it's like having your own dedicated server for only five bucks a month. It's a little harder to use. You don't really have the support network like you would with a shared hosting account where you can dial a phone number and ask those guys to do uh, some of these things for you. Today, specifically, I'm going to talk about two things. One is creating a snapshot before you do any work on your Amazon Light Sale uh, instance as a backup. And uh, I'll briefly talk about that. And then we'll get into why I started wanting to make this video was yesterday I spent a significant amount of time trying to increase or learn how to increase the uh, PHP memory memory available to WordPress so I finally figured it out uh, yesterday and I just wanted to go through and uh, show you guys where to go and so you can do what I do if you're pulling your hair out okay just a quick note I'm not an expert on this Amazon light sale um, my results may not be your results. Make sure you do a full uh, snapshot before you try anything I'm about to show you and do so at your own risk. Thank you. So I'm going to walk you through it again. I'm not uh, very comfortable using SSH. I'll probably make some mistakes, but I really just wanted to share this information with you. That's why I'm taking time out to try and make this video versus just working on my websites. So bear with me and we'll get started. Um, first, I like the Amazon Light Sale. It does have some limitations, like we said before. You need to figure out how to do stuff yourself, and uh, it can be difficult at times. So we're going to go through and uh, make some changes using the SSH, but first I want to talk to you about the backup snapshots. So when you're at Amazon Light Sale, you can click on your instance. This is the one we're working on. And over here you'll see snapshots click on that and then click on create snapshot before you do any work um, especially to the back end if I happen to do something today and I totally wreck this site I can get it back really fast and I might do another video and do that just for fun but uh, I did it yesterday unintentionally and I did not correctly use the snapshot feature so therefore I had to rebuild the website uh, it's not fun Anyway, to use a snapshot, you just click Create Snapshot, and then you'll see the recent one. So you can see I just did one um, a few minutes ago before I started this video. So now, with a good snapshot, I'm going to go in and try and show you how to uh, increase the PHP memory limit available to WordPress. Here we go. So go under Connect. Connect using SSH. You can also do it right from this Amazon Light Sale. You can highlight the instance you're into you want to work on and click this button right here, and that'll take you in. Okay, so first we need to go in and tell. Uh, there's two places to go. The first one is to tell the PHP uh, a memory limit, and then we'll go in and we'll tell the WP config .ini, or excuse me .php file to also increase the memory. You can't just do it in the in the in the one place. So to do that, I've used SSH to get into the server. Now let me go over to uh, to my finder. I have a screenshot of the uh, of the location we need to get to, and there it is. Let's see. Yep. Okay. So we need to change to the forward slash opt slash bitnami slash php slash etc directory. So to do that go up here and click on this terminal here and I type in cd forward slash opt slash bitnami bitnami slash php slash etc and hit return okay now I'm here if I do an ls command enter you can see there's a file called php.ini and I'm going to go ahead and try and open that file and uh, edit it. So before I can do that I have to log in as a super user the command so I have uh, write privileges to that file so that command is sudo 
SU, like super user. Hit return. Now I'm logged in. Now the command to edit the php.ini file is called nano, N-A-N-O, space, and the file name, php.ini. And again, you have to be in the same directory as that file to be able to do this. So I'm going to hit return. And it's telling me that this php.ini um, is being edited by the root. So I went in, uh, this is the third time I tried to make this video, so I'm already in this file. So I'm going to go ahead and say yes to continue and get you to the file. So you can see down here it said it read in a, a 1940 lines. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have to go uh, to the memory. So I'm going to bounce over here back to the screenshots and uh, scroll down and see what the uh, I think it's the memory limit yes yeah, PHP memory limit so I need to search for uh, memory underscore limit and then change that figure so I'm going to go back over here I'm going to use the control W so can command for control and W to find and it was memory limit so M E M O R Y underscore L I M I T and I found it Okay, so you're going to go in and then you're going to arrow over and change this value and I'm going to bump it up to 256 megs and so I've already done that uh, but you'll need to go ahead and make that change and then to write the file you hit control O for writeouts down here and then you hit return and it'll save that file I'm going to go ahead and exit out of this since I've already done that at uh, 256 so I'm going to hit uh, control X and I'm back to this prompt that's the first place we need to go okay the next place we're going to need to go is into the WordPress wp-config file I'm going to show you how to do that instead of navigating from here I'm just going to go ahead and close down this SSH like that and I'm going to start it again. Okay guys, since we just made that change to the php.ini file, we now need to go into the um, back to the Amazon Light Sail console and we're going to restart this so that the changes can take effect. So to do that, you can go to the three dots right here, click on that, and do restart. And you'll notice over here where the mouse is that will actually restart the server. Okay, Once that's done and it's restarted, you go back over to this orange dot right here and we're going to click on that and that's going to relaunch the SSH. Ready? Let's do that. This time I'm going to do an LS and you can see we're going to go into apps so it's CD space apps APPS and then I'm going to do an LS and you'll see there's a WordPress so we're going to go into WordPress right now CD WordPress LS and then it's under um, HT Docs so CD HT DOCS and then ls and you can see the file in here called wp-config.php so we need to get into the super user mode again so I'm going to do that so I'm going to say uh, sudo super user okay so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to type in nano and then wp dash C O N F I G dot P H P and hit return. There's the file. So I'm going to just scroll down this time. I could use a search command, but I'm just going to scroll down using the down arrow. I think it's on the third page.
All right, obviously I went past it. All right, I'm going to do a search again. So I'm going to do a Control W and Max underscore memory. And you'll see it right here. So I had to actually put this in, so you'll have to type in what I typed in. But uh, I typed in the following, define. You can see what I typed in. That was 128. I'm going to change this to 256. So I'm going to go ahead and arrow up. I'm going to change this to 256. 256. 56 meg. Go down. And change that to 256 meg. Okay. So that's what I ended up doing, and uh, I'm going to go ahead and save that, and then I'll take you uh, into my WordPress, and we'll see what, see if that made the the correct change that we needed. So to save this file, now that I'm done, I'm going to hit uh, Control O for write out. Control O, and it gives me the file name, and I'm going to hit enter. So it wrote out 131 lines. Now I'm going to hit uh, Control X to exit, and now I'm back out. So I'm going to bounce over to my, uh, this is the RogerLikes.com, and I'm going to show you uh, inside of Elementor there's some nice tools. One's called System Information, and so I went there. And it brought up this uh, system report. It shows how much the memory limit is here. I'm going to go ahead and refresh the page now and see if that changed. See if we have 256. There you go. Memory limit 256 meg. So that's how you do it, guys. I'm sorry we had to fumble through it. But uh, I really felt it was important because I pulled my hair out trying to do it. The other thing I pulled my hair out trying to do is the... Um, uh, getting to the WP config file to uh, change the uh, site URL after I enabled SSL because it's on the uh, it's on the light sale account so it's a little harder to get to but I might do another video if I have time and show you that one but I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you uh, go to my website like the YouTube videos I've got a bunch of different uh, hobbies I'm into I just happen to also do web web development, internet marketing stuff, along with the welding, the gardening, and all the other good stuff. So hopefully with all that stuff, I might have some interesting things for you. But thanks for watching.